welcome to the virtual groom room. My name is Jackie Harris and today I'm bringing you another shaving video and my choice of soap today is very new and this is Rebel, I believe it's pronounced and this is a new release from Holy Cow. I have to say big big thumb up to how they're now doing all of their packaging. Their, their tubs and labels, have, well their tubs have always been pretty high quality but their labels have always been very generic I mean, this is a badass design. I don't quite know what it's trying to reference, but whatever it is, it's punchy and it looks good. Still plastic, but you can't really get away from that anymore. Um, the scent on Rebel, it's very masculine. It contains notes of oud, leather, tobacco, sandalwood, and vetiver. It creates a very uh, musky, masculine scent. I could almost see you getting away with this. It's like a cologne type scent. Yeah, it's wonderful. Scent strength on this is quite light. It's maybe about a five max, um, but it's, it's there and it's prominent and I guess that's all that matters. My razor of choice today is gonna, I'm gonna be going back to the Blackline Vector. I've been really enjoying shaving with this recently and we're gonna revisit that again. My brush, another revisit is going to be my Autumn Glory Declaration B6. And yeah, that's going to be our shave today. So let me uh, kind of get the glasses off and we'll get to loading up. I've used um, Sierra, as you saw my Fuja Mania video. And it is certainly one of the best new soap bases out. What time is it on the camera? I can't even see. Okay, we'll stop now. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure I don't overload this because it can get... Very, very thirsty, <laughs> this soap. So get a good amount in here. The Buffalo base by Holy Cow is incredible as well, and Shri is just counted, like carried on. He has a vast knowledge in terms of good skincare botanical ingredients. This contains things like hops extract, and as far as I'm aware, no one else is using that, which is a very interesting approach. We're gonna get about a 25 second load here. I mean, it's, it's loading really easily. Okay, we'll keep going a bit. That should absolutely be enough. So, some nice loose suds on the uh, on the top of this soap here. So, let's put that there. Get the face wet. I have about two days growth at the moment. Oh, that's, that's a nice scent. I've uh, honestly, I've struggled to find a scent that I truly enjoy. I would prefer if it was a bit more powerful personally, but it is what it is. I think Shree's main aim is to make sure that it's good for your skin. And some people react to really strong scents. So he's trying to make it a bit more palatable for everyone. And I could see why he would do that. I can tell already this is going to lather very well. Okay. Got a load here. Get to lathering. If you remember my Fuja Mania video, I was lathering this for a good 15 minutes because of just the crazy volume it has. And we might be here for a while again. This note retains fantastic amount of moisture, meaning that the first kind of splay of the brush, you can really utilize the good amount of moisture and it gives you a pretty, pretty decent head start. Fill the sink up here and then we'll uh, dip and start splaying properly.
You guys know me well enough that if I'm going to give, be giving you my first impressions of the soap, and don't get it twisted, I'm not reviewing a soap here, because I feel to review anything, you need to try it, like, pretty consistently instead of once. I can, I can give you reviews of a few products, because I use them a lot, but with this, I've used, I've used this soap base maybe three times, and that's not long enough for a review, so, yeah. I can tell you, it's fantastic. And you know that I'm gonna give the soap what it deserves in, the, in terms of the amount of work I'm putting in with it because frankly, I don't want a pasty lather. And this soap deserves to have optimum performance. It's my job to get it there. Wow. This is going to be a pretty remarkable lather, I can tell you already. Yeah, this density is only matched by Sego, in my opinion. There's, there's no, um, there's no soap base with anywhere near as much density as this. It's dense, but it's like, it's so protective. I'm actually looking forward to using this for the straight. The way I would describe it, and the consistency, it's like marshmallow fluff. I mean, I'm not done. I'm not done, and look. It's just fantastic, like honestly. Um, big props to Holy Cow. It's remarkable, it's very, very good. I would say it's easy to work with, depending on how you like your lather. I mean, at the moment, it, for me, it still needs more water. You'll know that my favorite soap base is Talbot. I think it performs just as well, but it's just easier to lather. Not that this is hard to lather, but for me there's a difference between it being hard to lather and, and taking a lot of time to lather. And for me, to get optimum performance out of both Sago and Sierra, you need to be able to sit there for a good 10-15 minutes and really work it into your face. Of course, if you're a bowl lather, you might find those times may vary, but for me, I like to make this lather for me, the way it was intended, and the way it was intended is to be as hydrating as possible. And I mean, we're not done. Trust me, we're not done. Itchy nose. Yep, still needs more water. I'm looking for a specific texture, and I'm looking for the brush to be able to paint on my face in a certain way. When it has no resistance, is when I know it's getting there, and the lather's really slick. But at the moment, there's just a bit of resistance, so we're just gonna keep working it. Yeah, it's truly lovely. It's getting there. <laughs> this stuff's mental. I, I really enjoy this scent, actually. It's, it, like I said, it's pretty light. I mean, it's definitely not as strong as your A&E scents or your APR scents, which are very strong. But it's, it's definitely prominent enough for you to get a good whiff of it whenever you kind of, like, splay the brush or... You, you can smell it on your face pretty easily. It's getting there. Still not there yet. <laughs> Getting that for sure. You know me, guys, I'm gonna keep going until I'm happy with it. Okay, I'd say this side is fine. Yeah, I'd say. I'd say we're good. 
So let's uh, get the lines again. So what we're going to do is we're not going to use a towel at all. I need a towel on straight razor shaving, but not so much when I'm using a safety razor because I don't need to dry my hands quite as much. I mean, does it get much better than that? You tell me. Ridiculous. <laughs> Wow, okay, yeah, we're gonna stop there. It's enough, well more than enough hydration for me based on the texture when I tested it, so let's shave. So I'm um, Blackman Vector with the same Schick Proline P30. This is on its fourth shave. Let's just go with the grain here. Oil on glass. Real oil and glass, like as slick as slick can be. Still need to be careful here because I still have that cut. Look, look at that. Look at the lather it produces. It's ridiculous, ridiculous. Wow, yeah, I don't even need to apply lather for a subsequent pass because of the slickness on my face. And I think in terms of all-round performance, this is amazing. The, the, the difficulty is, like, it gets to the point where it's so difficult to put, compare anything because what we have now is amazing soaps, and that's it. Like nothing, nothing new that's coming out is bad. These guys are putting in an amount of effort to be able to test all this shit properly. So honestly, you're not gonna get bad releases and it's difficult to compare. Look at the amount of lather on here and look at the quality of that lather. That is a... Uh... Ridiculous. <laughs> wow. So Chris, um, if you watch this video, what do you think of this lather? Um, he always gives me a little comment if he thinks the lather's good. I think this lather's pretty good. I don't know about you. It's a, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna take all the credit because I think the soap definitely helps. <laughs> Let's uh, add a little bit more water still, because we can. This is what I find fun. You, you know this already, just pushing it to its limits. And as far as I'm aware, I don't think the soap really has limits. Nope, it just takes it like a champ. Slick as slick can be. All I can say is it's probably a good thing I'm not using straight because I won't be able to stretch my skin <laughs> because this is a very slick lather.
Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm actually happy I've managed to find a scent I really like from Holy Cow. So um, if I was to say whether I would buy this or not, absolutely. It's $30, better than mine, it's very expensive. But this is certainly one of the best soaps without a doubt. One of the situations where I would agree with Russ. Don't always agree. But in this occasion I do. I'm gonna find the cut here, yeah, there it is. For anyone looking to try this razor, this is the blade I would recommend far and far away. I've used a few, I've used a Kai, I've used a, a couple of the feathers. And if you're like me and you care more about smoothness than you do efficiency, this is the best blade. Like, do you know, in my last video, when I used Lovafana, I referenced a slick layer, fatty layer. This has that fatty layer more than any soap I've ever used. Um, it's just got like this sticky, fatty layer. And you know when using it, your face is genuinely protected. Yeah, what an incredible shave that was. And I altered the soap, I think. And the razor is fantastic too. Let's get the uh, loose soap from the brush. This is a pretty luxury shave, I'm not gonna deny. If you can afford gear like this, then absolutely buy it. But like I've said time and time again, you do not need it. Because providing a technique is good enough, You can have just as good a shave with a D89 and a tub of sterling. And sterling, for the cost, is fantastic. Is this better than sterling? I would say so, but is sterling definitely good enough to give you a good shave? 100 times, yes. This, for me, is if you want a completely luxury experience. And it's funny actually, because going back to using this soap base, I said Milk Steak was the runner up. But for me, this isn't even close. Like, Milk Steak cannot handle as much water as I would like in any situation. This can handle as much water as Sago for me, and that is the testament to a, a really good soap, is its water tolerances. Yeah, remarkable. Okay, let's wash the razor a bit, and uh, we'll get on with the post. I can tell you in advance that I don't need a post shave product with this, because like the post shave is what sets her cow apart from a lot of other people, but we're gonna use one anyway, because why not? Okay, let's wash this off. Let me get a towel. I won't cut it, I'll just leave it. Okay, so I've got, got my towel. Let's uh, wash off the face and we'll get to the poche. Well, yeah, really good scent. This is definitely one I'll be keeping around from Holy Cow. And hopefully, there's more scents I really like to come. So now I can see this cut. There's so much residual slickness on my face that I can, you know, 
shave this area. There we go, fantastic. The post shave on this, let me pat down a bit. It's just immense. It's silky. It's protective. Yeah. You don't need a post shave product with this. There's no way, but I'm going to use one anyway. And this is their uh, aftershave toner. I don't quite know how to use this, so we're just going to use this like a splash. Here is the bottle here. I really like the uh, bottles Holy Cow uses. Nice cap here and a decent restrictor on the top. Get some of this. What's the ingredients to this? I'll tell you. Uh, I don't know if there's any alcohol in this, which is going to be quite a different experience to the Lamba Final one, I can tell you that much. Yep, remarkable. No burn. That's a really nice scent. It's funny because I actually. I'm not a big leather, leather, I'm not a big leather guy, but the hint of leather in this is lovely actually. It's blended really well and it works really well with uh, all of the other scent notes. Yeah, what a shave that was, honestly. Well, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm incredibly happy that I can still get shaves like this where I'm just blown away by the quality of the shave because that's what we're doing it for, right? Uh, towel the knot a little bit. Okay, so let's do a recap. My soap of choice today and receiving a big two thumbs up is Rebel by Holy Cow in the new Sierra base. Sierra is amazing. If you don't want to pay like the extremely premium price, I believe the unscented Sierra is like 22 bucks, which is a premium price, I agree. But compared to the scented versions that are $30, it's much, much cheaper. Our razor of choice was the razor I'm really enjoying at the moment, and this is the Blackland Vector, um, utilizing Artist Club style blades. And then this was a third or fourth use Schick Proline P30. Doesn't look like it's uh, slowing down anytime soon either, which is great. Our brush of choice was once again the Autumn Glory Declaration V6. Um, this is the Jefferson shaped handle. Lovely brush, one of my, quickly becoming one of my favorites, I would say. It still sheds a bit of hair, but it's not like an absurd amount of shedding anymore that has stopped predominantly. And last but not least, our post shave product was the Matching Splash Rebel. Fantastic set. If you have the money to spare and want to give it a go, I highly recommend it, it's very good. There's no dryness on my skin at all. It just feels very well moisturized and hydrated. Yeah. Kind of what you would expect from Holy Cow. Although I've not seen eye-to-eye -eye with the scents or nose-to-nose -nose with the scents, I've never questioned the quality of performance their soaps have because they have always been among some of the best. And this is a, that, that shave is a testament to that. But yeah, if you've enjoyed my uh, video today, guys, and you know around here, and you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I very much appreciate it. Apart from that, wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful, way. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Forgive me. And uh, yeah, my name is Jack, your host of the Virtual Grim Room. Goodbye for now. Farewell. Goodbye.